Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be telling you how to make a GFX on Roblox Studio. Only Roblox Studio is what you need, nothing else, and it is pretty, pretty easy. But the first step is make your avatar exactly how you want. Don't worry, you can change your hair to more GFX-ish hair if you want. If you don't like your hair, just take it off and we will use an avatar importer. So let's go to create. So once your avatar loads, let's just go straight to create. Right there. Click it again if it won't load. Now we are going to create a new game. You're going to click on base plate, scroll down, create game. And you will go into Roblox Studio, press edit, and then open Roblox Studio. It's a pretty good tutorial in my opinion, but if this is, I think, one of the only ways to use only Roblox Studio to make an intro. And yes, it is animated, but it can be a little bit confusing the kitchen that i am using is this one and i'm going to go to home and press scale now i'm going to just basically raise this a lot in size but note for this before you do anything and spend a lot of time on your intro you have to know you have to be able to record on a computer I'm not sure how, but you can also just record it from your iPad, like I'm doing right now, and record your intro this way if you can't record on your computer, because, I mean, I wasn't able to, but this is actually, I actually really like this kitchen. So now that you have this kit, your kitchen, and whatever you want, oh, I'm going to change my avatar real quick going to go into plugins and find a load character one if you do not have the load character then ah okay then go to instead of models go to plugins and search load character we're just gonna search load you're going to get the free one right here then go to plugins use the low character one and search up your username you can also use somebody else's avatar but i don't think you should <laughs> jelly blob e jelly blobby spawn r15 there we go, here is my avatar, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on scale and make it a lot, lot larger. It is, oop, oh no, what did I just do? So I'm just going to make it larger, and I'll be back when it's much larger. The character is much larger. We are going to move it down, all the way down, and then move it right to the counter. You're going to home, rotate. We are going to press the green one and rotate it. Oop, or try to rotate it. Ow, oh, no. Ah, control Z. See, uno reverse or undo. Uh -huh. No, oh my God, I keep doing the wrong thing. I don't want to click that. Why can I not rotate it? <laughs> I'm being very weird right now. Oh, it probably needs one. Oh my god, I keep on doing the wrong thing. There we go. Now let's go back to move. Eh, let's move it over here. Okay, there we go. We're going to move my character right over here. Now, here, we're going to go back to models, and we are going to search toaster. 
going to get a toaster right here because, you know what, this is good. Make it a lot larger. Oop, not that big. Like this. And we're going to get rid of that because that's the toast on this side. And then we don't really need that. So now we are going to go here. And this might seem weird, but we are going to search up GFX hair. So you don't have to make your own hair. You can always search it up like I usually do. See, there's this is the one that I use in my videos. There's this one, which is cool. There's a lot of different hairs. I think this is my, the one that I use. Let's see. Oh, no. Yep, I think. Ah, wrong size. I finally found the hair that I need. So we're going to make it a lot larger. Uh, if I can. Yeah, there we go. Let's just make it a lot larger and then move on to... Ah. <laughs> I did not drag that. I moved the hair. Really? Oh no, something be going on with that hair. Yeah, I'll be back. I don't know, it wouldn't really merge in with the body or the, <laughs> that sounded weird. So I just put my normal avatar in here and I'm just going to animate this. So you might be confused on how you animate it, but basically all you have to do is go to plugins. Then you want to go to animation editor. You're going to press this ring to animate. And basically, if you want, this is how long I think you want your intro. So I want mine to be about 15 seconds. Then, get a good angle. So basically, now what you want to do is you want to, oh, okay, you know what, this is kind of confusing. It used to work. Okay, there we go. So you're going to press right here where you want it to start. I want mine to start around there. And you are going to click on on the arm or the leg, wherever you want to animate. And you want to curve it like this. And however you want, basically. Just curve it. So now when you press play, it'll do that motion that you pressed. And when you want to do a new motion, then click to another spot. And you can click, I don't know, I'm just going to animate the hand. So I want her hand to go like that. I'm going to click here, and then her hand is going to go like this. So press play and see if you like it. I don't really like this, so I'm going to change it and see how this is. So now I'm just going to bring down this arm. Bring it how that? Okay. So that is mine so far, and then I'm going, so when you're done making your full animation, you are then going to, to screen record it, if, but if you cannot screen record on your computer, I recommend just recording it with your iPad like me. I do not know how to screen record yet, but I'm pretty sure I can. So I will be figuring that out later. And if you don't know how to edit on computers, but you can screen record, then I think just post it on YouTube and then post the clip on YouTube and then edit it on mobile or your iPad. I'm going to finish animating mine now. I am done animating mine and here is the final product.
So then I won't be able to animate the toaster, but when I'm finished screen recording this part <coughs> of the animation, I am then going to just take a video of the toaster and pretend toast is coming out of it, which will be pretty cool since I am toasted bread. And let's start. I'm kind of shouting out to my sister because she also gave me an idea of how to animate. Like, she accidentally, I think, figured it out. So now I know how. I mean, she didn't exactly teach me, but still, go subscribe to her. I will tr try to put her the link to her chan both her her channel in the description. I don't know how to put links, but I'll try.